Mike Bloomberg. I just made my way up to Knoxville because I saw something on Facebook saying that Mike Bloomberg was coming to Knoxville and he's opening up a headquarters and he's gonna be here tonight so I just wanted to hop up here and uh, cuz it's got to make good content right I mean maybe gonna be ten people here I don't know I don't maybe there's a hundred I don't know they're expecting a lot but maybe get some entertaining uh, content What did I just say? I went to Riverside, which is sort of in the middle of the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, nobody's yeah, ever gone yeah. to California and done anything other than a few cities along the coast. And I am running to defeat Donald Trump. Yeah. Um, let me just tell you, if, uh, if you want health insurance for everyone, fairer taxes and better jobs, opportunity for all and not just for a few, welcome to Bloomberg 2020. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That is what Mike has to offer. Kind of a, uh, a bland, generic mindset. Just uh, you know, free healthcare, uh, more gun stuff. Um, yeah, just I'm impressed, Mike. You're not you're not my guy, Mike. Sorry, but it was entertaining. And uh, thank you for the brownies. The brownies were excellent. Hi, honey. Hi. What are you doing? Having a bonfire. By yourself? No, my friends left. No. Oh. I had a fun time learning about uh, Mr. Mike Bloomberg. I not much about him. I mean, I knew a little bit about m Mr. Mike, but... So that was an interesting, uh, interesting introduction to Mike Bloomberg. He set up his office in Knoxville. He had a little turnout there, uh, maybe 100 people. Kind of what I expected to be there. So who, who is Mike Bloomberg, right? He's a businessman. He's a politician. He's very wealthy. Uh, he made his money in... I believe it was financial services and software. I think he has a net worth of like 56 billion, which is a lot of money, which funny enough, he's a lifelong Democrat, but he switched to Republican when he became mayor of New York City in 2002, I think, just after 9-11. He held office for almost a decade as a Republican, and then he flipped independent on the Republican ticket, and then went Democratic last year, and now he's running for president. So he started it off with a few Trump jokes, of course, and uh, focused on getting Trump kicked out of the, the White House. And of course, that got the uh, roar from the crowd. Did you know who Mike Bloomberg was? No. I heard about him once on the news. Yeah. I think it's more of a financial thing. He's kind of just throwing money at stuff because he has the money. He doesn't have anything to offer me. Well, and that's, that was part of the whole speech that was, that was just kind of funny and expected, I guess, was it's just kind of, I expected everything he said. Well, he talked about growth, economic growth, and employment growth, and how important that is. We're in a, a state right now where we've had some of the best economic growth and employment growth in a long time, and Trump happens to be in office, which is funny. His main things were health care, gun control, and climate change. I know, it's radical, it's different, you haven't heard that before, but yeah, that's what he came with. Those were his, his three topics. Kind of bland, kind of vanilla, kind of generic, kind of 
same thing everyone else is saying. Uh, so nothing. And no one's done anything about yet. Yeah, nothing's nothing stood out to me at all. You know, you had a few people that were were fired up. You know, just because the the hatred for Trump. He wanted to see the same success and growth for the United States that uh, California was modeling. Um, us being Californians, we have a pretty good pretty good feeling of what what the conditions were like in California and what the the model was. Uh, and I don't wish that on the United States at all. Not not even close. Uh, but there were there were a couple of people that were kind of frustrated. You know, they were there just to hear him out. And they're on the Democratic Party side, but they wanted to hear him out, hear what he was about. Uh, they're a little frustrated, you know, because he hasn't taken uh, debates. He's not taking any uh, donor money. He's kind of funding the whole thing as himself. He's not taking any other candidates on stage and uh, debating with them. So I think there were a handful of protesters out there, mainly uh, Second Amendment uh, guys, had the guns on their hips, you know, proudly flexing that right to have them. And uh, like I said, he's very, very generic. Nothing that we haven't heard before. Mike's just not the guy for me. I mean... Not for me. A lot of people like Mike. We don't like Mike. I mean, Mike, he's probably a great guy, just not not for president. Brownies are great, though. Mike, whatever you're putting in the brownies, whatever whatever that recipe is, if you want to share it, I'd appreciate it. Put it on her Pinterest. Uh, they were great. Uh, but, yeah, it's good to get out there, though, and experience it and hear other people's uh, thoughts and, uh, you know, kind of okay. get, get the big picture of things. But uh, then you have a little background, a little context to other things, and... And you feel better with decisions you make, so.